Have you ever dreamed of a girlfriend or a boyfriend that you could talk to for hours but no one likes you? <laughs> wow, me too! But no worries because today I got the solution for you. Hello humans, when we scan your air overload and today I have a very special video for you roleplay nerds. Because today I will show you how to talk to an AI character using your microphone. And then having the AI character respond to you using audio for the most perfect roleplay experience. And if you wanna know what this looks like in practice, well, no worries, I got you. Take a look. Hey, love. I hope you haven't been waiting long. The traffic was insane. Hey, honey. Yeah, no problem. Just sit down. Thanks so much for meeting me here. I wanted to make sure we had some time alone before the holidays get too crazy. Yeah, sure. I mean, the work has been just crazy. We need some time off, you know? How are you doing? It seems like things have been stressful lately. Are you okay? Ah, I'm good, you know, the usual. That's not what I meant. Is everything okay between us? Did something happen? Please tell me if it did. I want to help. Yeah, no, no, it, it, it's fine, it's fine. It's just that, you know, our relationship has been on the decline. And I thought that maybe to relight that spark, we could try some sexy roleplay. Really? That's all? I thought you were serious about this, but it seems like you're just using me. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. What is wrong with you? Do you think I am stupid <laughs> or something? You don't really expect me to fall for that line, do you? Oh, well, exactly like in real life. I can't believe this. So as you saw very quickly, by just using my microphone, I can automatically transform my speech into text and then get an audio transcription of the AI character's speech and all of that super, super quickly for the most immersive role-playing experience I have ever had. And today, in this video, I will show you how you can do it too. So that being said, sit back, relax, prepare your microphone, and let's go. Now I gotta tell you, this video was absolutely not planned at all. But when I discovered this, my jaw was on the floor. I was really surprised at how fast it all is, and also how easy it was to set up. And really, right now, this is really the ultimate way of role-playing. Now, the things that make it so cool is actually two different things. First is, of course, the ability to get an audio answer from the character using text-to-speech, which already by itself elevates the role-playing experience, because this is definitely way more immersive. And the second thing that is actually the best part of this whole process is the Whisper speech to text, which if you don't know, Whisper was actually an open source neural network that can very easily and accurately recognize speech and transform it into text. And not only this is really super powerful and it can easily transcribe any speech into perfect text, and also as you saw in the demo that I showed you, is really how fast it is. Like for me on my computer, it takes like one second to transcribe my speech into text. I mean, this is just insane. And for me, actually, since I am a very slow typer, using the microphone instead of typing the text makes it so much easier and more immersive than simply typing the text myself. So yeah, I mean, this is really super cool. And as I said, it is also very easy to set up, which I'm going to show you right now. And of course, to be able to use this, you need the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI, because everything that you see right here are just a bunch of extensions for the Web UI. So obviously for this, you need to install the Web UI first, and I made an installation video for this, so if you haven't installed it already, you need to watch this video first. So once you have the Web UI installed, and you go to the interface mode, you have here a bunch of available extensions for you to use. But there are three in particular that interest us for this video. The first is 11 Labs TTS, the second is Celero TTS, and the third is Whisper STT. Now of course, as I said before, Whisper is the extension that you need to be able to use your microphone. This is the speech-to-text extension, and the other two, the 11 Labs and Silero, these are the text-to-speech extensions. However, one is paid and one is not. Now you can either use a website like Eleven Labs and get an API key from that website and then put it right here, which will of course give you the best results possible, but you will have to pay for it. However, if you don't want to pay for it and you want to use a local text-to-speech, you can use something like Silero, which actually is really not bad. The voices are actually pretty decent. 
But to be able to use this, you need to install something else first. And that is FFmpeg, which is basically like an open source library for Windows designed to process video and audio files. And installing this is actually very simple. So if you haven't installed it already, here's how to do it. First, you're gonna click the link in the description down below. You're gonna arrive on this page. Then you're gonna scroll down and click on FFmpeg git full, which will download and archive onto your computer. So then you're gonna extract that archive. So right click extract in a new folder. Then you're gonna go inside that folder and you will see another one that you're going to rename to ffmpeg which you will then select ctrl x to cut it then go to the root of your computer in your c drive for example and you're going to paste it right here so you will see a bunch of files like users windows program files and then you will see ffmpeg so then in your startup menu you're going to look for edit the system environment variables and you will get a system property windows make sure you go to the advanced tab and then click on environment variables so then you're going to click on path click on Edit, then click on new and here you're gonna input cffmpeg bin you're just gonna input that folder path don't worry i'm gonna write this in the description down below so you can just copy and paste it and then you're gonna click on ok and then ok again and now to make sure that everything works you're gonna bring up the command prompt window so for example you can click on the folder path type cmd press enter and then you're gonna type ffmpeg dash version and then press enter and as you can see indeed we have the latest version of ffmpeg and just in case right now you should restart your computer Computer. Now it did work for me without restarting, but you can do it just in case it doesn't work. And now, well, it's almost over, because all we need to do now is enable the extensions. And for this, all you have to do is just right click on the web UI, the PY file, click on exit with notepad, and then for me on line 146, after python server.py, you're gonna input the following arguments, dash dash, extension, whisper underscore stt, scenario underscore tts, and then 11 labs underscore tts, and then you can save the file. And now all you have to do is just launch the web UI. Now the first time it will load a bunch of things, it will download a bunch of files, but then if you scroll down, you should see all of the new extensions ready to use. The Whisper extension, the Silero extension, and the 11 Labs extension. And they're all very easy to use. So for example, if you want to use the 11 Labs, you're gonna deactivate Silero, make sure that you select Play TTS automatically, then you're gonna select a voice, and here you're gonna enter your API key. And to find the 11 Labs API, you need of course to create a new account on the 11 labs website then you're gonna click on your profile image go to profile and here if you click on this little icon you should see your api key then you can then copy and paste it right here and if you want to use the whisper extension make sure that you have this box checked then select the character that you want to talk to and then get ready to have some fun hey love i hope you haven't been waiting long the traffic was insane and now if you want to respond to your character you're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see the whisper stt and then you're gonna click on this button to record from microphone and then say your text hey honey yeah no problem just sit down you know and then you can click on stop recording then it's gonna take a few seconds the first time but then it's gonna be way way faster and then it's gonna process the message and then generate the audio so what are you doing today so yeah this is really cool so as you can see it even transcribed the last sentence so be careful of what you say and now if you want to use the silent text to speech you can deactivate 11 labs and activate the tts here make sure that the play tts automatically is checked and then make sure that you have also checked show message text under audio player then here you're gonna select the voice and if you don't know which voice to choose you could click here to see the audio samples and then you will see here a bunch of voices for you to choose i think there is like 117 voices both male and female so yeah there is really a lot to choose from and they're all actually pretty decent i love language models i love language models i love language models i love language models no they all sound a little bit like dead inside but hey at least it's absolutely free so then you're gonna choose your voice for example i'm gonna choose i don't know like the, this one and you can even personalize the voice by choosing the voice pitch and the voice speed which I like to feel a little bit fast, so I'm gonna choose this one, and then I'm gonna try again. Oh, you know, just recording a video for my YouTube channel. So as you saw, like, one second was enough. In a few seconds, it's gonna record a new voice message. What's this about? Is this some sort of new experiment? So as you saw, the quality of the audio generation for a free text-to-speech is actually very, very decent. And I mean, I gotta say, this is really just fun to play with. You don't need to type anything, you just press a button, and then record audio from your microphone. And then have this very normal, very fluid conversation. It's really super immersive. Well, I gotta say, um, uh, I'm a pretty famous YouTuber, you know. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you were so popular online. How many subscribers do you have? So yeah, there you go. Now, unfortunately, as you saw, all of these extensions are only available inside the Uba Buga Tech Generation Web UI. 
Meaning that if you want to use this inside something like Tavern AI, well, uh, you can't. Or can you? Well, there is actually a way for you to get kind of like half of the role-playing experience. And that is by using Silly Tavern, which if you don't know, is basically like a fork of the original Tavern AI, but with a bunch of cool additions. And for example, one of the cool additions is also to be able to use text-to-speech, which will again make your role-playing experience much better. And if you're interested, I'm gonna show you how. So installing Silly Tavern is very easy. First make sure that you download and install Node.js and make sure that you choose the LTS version. So just click on this and then install it on your computer. Then you're gonna create like a new folder. Then you're gonna click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter. And then you're gonna copy and paste this command that you will find in the description down below. And then you're gonna press enter, which will then clone the repository onto your computer. And then technically we are basically almost done. Because to be able to run this, you just need to run the start.bat file. But the problem is, is, is that Silly Tavern is just a UI. This is just an interface. And to be able to get something like text to speech or any other extensions, you actually need to install something else. And that is the Silly Tavern Extras. So as they say, this is basically a bunch of APIs for various Silly Tavern extensions. It's really not that difficult to run, but it can take a little bit of time. But the process itself is actually very easy. Everything is explained step by step. Everything is just written for you right here. And first you're gonna need to install install Miniconda or Anaconda is the same, it's really up to you. Just click on the Windows 64-bit version and then install it. And then what I advise you to do is that inside your Silly Tavern folder, you're gonna create a new folder, then you're gonna call Extras, then you're gonna go inside, then you're gonna select and copy this entire folder path, then in your startup menu, you're gonna look for Anaconda Prompt, and then you're gonna type CD, and then paste your folder URL, and then press Enter. And once we are inside that folder, now you can follow step-by-step -step everything that you see right here. Basically, for each step, you're gonna click here to copy copy this entire line of code, go inside the anaconda prompt, then paste it, and then press enter. And this will download all the requirements that it needs to run. Now the only thing that you need to be careful, the only thing that you need to change is right here. Instead of using this command pip install dash r requirements.txt, you change it to pip install dash r requirements dash complete. Because here this is not the file that you need to use, you need to use the complete file instead, or else Silero will not work. So I repeat, Again, do not use this command line, use this command line instead. Of course, as always, I will put this inside the description down below. Oh, and then also, finally, you also need to change this one because you need to enable the text to speech module. So instead of using this command, here you're gonna input TTS first. And you can either leave it like that or just delete the other arguments if you only want to use the text to speech, which is actually what I'm gonna do. So again, I will leave a link for this command in the description down below. And after you're done and that you run the latest command, you will see this localhost URL, which means that everything should be working well. And now comes the real deal, because we need to run three different things at once. Yes, I'm not kidding, because as I said, Silly Tavern is just a UI, just like Tavern AI, meaning that you need something to run the models and then connect that to the UI. And for this, we're of course going to be using the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI. And if you want to run this in combination with Silly Tavern, you're going to right click on the webui.py file, edit with Notepad, and then here again on line 146, after Python server.py, you're going to input dash dash API. And also make sure that you take out these extensions, because otherwise it's not going to work correctly. And then you're going to save the file. So then you're going to run the Web UI, select the model. Right now I'm using the Pigmanian 7 billion parameter model. And then you will see here a special API address. So now you're gonna run Silly Tavern by clicking on the start.bat file, which will give you something like this. Then you're gonna click here. Under API, you're gonna select the text gen web UI, paste the API URL, and then click on connect. You're gonna click here to the extensions tab, because now we need to run the third thing, which is the Silly Tavern Extras. Yeah, we're gonna be running three different things at once. So you're gonna go to the Extras folder, Silly Tavern Extras, then you're gonna click on the folder path, type CMD, press enter, and then you're gonna type Conda Activate Extras, then press enter, which as you can see, we have activated the environment, and then you're gonna type Python server.py dash dash enable 
slash modules TTS. Now, as I said, you can either use one single module or select even more modules depending on what you want. But in my case, since I only want the text to speech module, I'm simply gonna input TTS and then press enter. And as you can see, finally, we're running this silly tavern extras with a local host URL. And if now we click here, then input that local host URL and then click on connect, we are now perfectly connected. And you should have now three different things running all at once. And if you're asking just how much VRAM this is all using, as of right now it is using around 80 gigabytes of VRAM. But again, I am recording a video, so for you this should be maybe a little bit less. So now if we click on extensions, then TTS, we can now select the TTS provider, such as in Evan Labs, where you can put here the API key, just like with the web UI, or choose Silero. And you can either choose to narrate everything, narrate dialogues only, or to narrate code only. Which personally I highly suggest to just choose the narrate dialogues only. And then here's a very cool thing, which is actually something that I definitely prefer using instead of the web UI, is that here you have a voice map for each character. Meaning that for each character you can choose a different voice. And again if you want to know all the available voices, you can click on this button right here and then play a recording of all the different voices. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So for example in here I'm going to choose for aqua the en underscore zero and maybe for darkness I'm going to choose another one like for example I'm going to put something like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog like something like this maybe 97 so I'm going to put underscore 97 and then click on apply so now if I choose aqua and then I'm going to type a message hey uh yeah you're okay I suppose oh thank you I've been told I have the most beautiful face in the entire world so yeah there you go as you can see it works now it's definitely a little bit slower compared to the web UI and also well one of the things things that really made the web UI so special is the ability to use your microphone, which is something that you don't have here. And I mean, I gotta say, if like the developer is watching this video, if there was a way to input Whisper inside Silly Tavern, this would be just amazing. This would really make it so much better. Because I mean, let's be honest here, the interface is definitely way more beautiful and more practical to use for character creation than inside the normal web UI. So if this is something that could be added, like in the near future, Future, this would be absolutely awesome. But I mean, yeah, as of right now, really the best way to use this to have the best role playing experience possible is inside the web UI. All thanks to the incredible combination of Whisper, speech to text, and the Silero or Eleven Labs text to speech. This really makes the role playing experience so much immersive because now you can really do whatever you want. And I think that you know what I mean. So there you have it, folks. Now you can have the most immersive role playing experience ever. And all that thanks to two small extensions. So definitely try it out yourself because now the sky is the limit. You can really do whatever you want if you know what I mean. And there we have it folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much for my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You guys are the one who support me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.